more than 100 years, Wells has been designing and manufacturing ignition coils in North America for a variety of automotive and industrial applications. In 1989, Wells opened a new, flexible production facility in Reynosa, Mexico, which holds IATF 16949, ISO 14001, and Ford Q1 certifications that assembles a mix of high-volume products, VVT solenoids, idle air control valves, EGR valves, distributor caps, rotors, sensors, switches, and ignition coils. A variety of different coils are manufactured in Reynosa, including high-energy ignition coils, distributor or block coils, coil-on-plug coils, and pencil coils. The development of new products follows standard APQP process and includes the participation of a cross-functional team. New products are subjected to extensive testing from process design to manufacturing process validation using the latest technology in thermal shock and environmental testing. In-process audits are performed using precision equipment to ensure stability in our production process and detailed analysis and customer feedback aids in our continuous improvement efforts. In accordance with our quality plan, samples from each lot of components received are inspected by a combination of regular and specialized gauges, coordinate measuring machines, or using a visual system. Our Reynosa plant also has in-house injection molding capability, allowing us to produce some of our own components to increase competitiveness and quality. The first step in the ignition coil manufacturing process is winding the primary and secondary coils. Since coils are sensitive to contamination, they are wound in an isolation room, which helps to prevent any foreign debris from contaminating components. In manufacturing ignition coils, we utilize a combination of fully automatic and semi-automatic primary winding machines. The machines use wire from 18 to 24 AWG to create primary bobbins with 80 to 200 turns. Semi-automatic winders require an operator to load and unload the primary bobbins and engage the machine to automatically perform the winding. These machines also strip the end of the wire to prepare it for subsequent operations. Our secondary winding machines are semi-automated and use wire that ranges in size from 42 to 46 gauge, while the number of turns of wire per secondary ranges from 9,000 to 17,000. The operator only loads the bobbins into the machine and activates the cycle. The winding machine will automatically wind the bobbins with the required number of turns. Wire tension is critical to control the position and final resistance of the winding, so servo tensioners are used to control the tension during the winding process. Once the cycle is complete, the operator carefully removes the wound bobbins and visually inspects them for any potential defects before placing them in special containers to protect them from damage or contamination. The soldering of the secondary winding terminals is performed by semi-automated soldering machines. The size and shape of the secondary bobbins determines what equipment is used for soldering. First, flux is applied to the secondary terminals. Then, solder is applied to the terminals, which creates an electrical connection between the wire and the terminal. Next, a continuity test is performed to confirm a proper solder connection. Finally, the operator performs a visual inspection of the windings before passing them on to the next operation. Each assembly line is set up to accommodate the manufacturing of similar coils. While each coil we manufacture has different requirements, including variations in the components used, this flexibility allows us to assemble different but similar coils on the same lines. Regardless of coil type, the fundamental assembly process remains the same. First, a protective tape is applied to coil laminations that require it. Next, the magnet is assembled to the lamination. Then, the primary and secondary windings are joined, followed by assembling the lamination and the primary and secondary winding. The driver is assembled and connected to the subassembly, electrical connections are soldered, and finally, the coil pack subassembly is placed into the housing. All coils are vacuum encapsulated and filled with specially formulated epoxies. 
These materials create dielectric barriers that prevent electrical shorts between internal high voltage components while allowing for optimal performance and long life. The coils are preheated to remove any moisture inside the coil before entering a vacuum sealed chamber where the epoxy mixture is dispensed. Once the vacuum is released, the coils transfer to a series of ovens to cure at different temperatures, which creates molecular bonds between the resin and the hardener components and fully cures the coils. Once the coils are completely cured, they'll pass through a temperature-controlled gradual cooling process to avoid stressing the epoxy before it reaches ambient temperature. At the end of the line, each coil must pass our final functional test and visual inspection. When both performance and appearance meet our stringent criteria, the coil is date-coated with a laser marker. Each coil is then carefully packaged into boxes for secure shipping to our customers. Thank you.